Hey everyone, this is Tell, and I'm coming back to my YouTube channel with a uh, video tutorial on how to make a no-sew fabric hair bow. I'll be showing you how to make this on a lined alligator clip. Uh, these are great to spice up any back-to-school outfits, so let's get started with the materials. So the first thing you'll need is a cutting mat. A cutting mat is preferred because you can measure both the length and the width of your fabric at the same time. So next you'll need some fabric. I usually buy my fabric from Hobby Lobby. When I ask the lady to cut it, I always ask for a quarter of a yard because it turns out to be the perfect um, length that I need for my bows. And of course you need a pair of scissors. You'll also need a hot, high temperature hot glue gun. Now you also need glue sticks. Uh, for this project you only need one glue stick. You'll also need a lined alligator clip. Uh, you can purchase these already lined at Hobby Lobby as well, or you can purchase the pack of 25 clips and line them yourself with 3 8 inch ribbon. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is take out your fabric and line it up down at the bottom. You'll need to cut out a panel that is 8 inches by 6 inches. So right now I'm cutting uh, the length is 8 and I'm measuring up 6 inches. So I'm cutting a little bit because it was a little bit less than 6. Turn your fabric around, line up the bottom, and cut all the way up. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm using my cutting mat uh, to see where I need to cut. And here I'm just folding in the bottom piece so I can cut easier. So you cut all the way up, and this is going to be your main panel. Next, this is going to be the little fabric centerpiece that I'm cutting out. It needs to be at least three inches tall by one and a half inches uh, wide. And I'm cutting off the little scragglies here because it was, you need um, straight edges. You can't have it like all messy. Okay, so this part is very important. Fold your fabric and put it away because if not, your room is going to look just like my room with fabric everywhere. <laughs> Okay, you'll see that there's like wrinkles in my fabric, so at this point you want to iron uh, those wrinkles out. So turn it around, and you're going to uh, measure three inches up. Put a line of glue here, here, and here. Uh, just put a line of glue about one inch in length. You need them on the sides and in the center. At this point, sorry, I know my head's in the way, <laughs> like I was trying to see where I need to put the fabric. So at this point, you want to fold the bottom half up and just press down onto the glue. And you're going to do the exact same thing with your bottom half. You're going to put a line of glue on both ends and a line of glue in the center. So here I'm just putting the glue. Uh, fold that piece up. And this is going to be your long panel, okay? Okay. So my piece was a little over 8 inches, and that's fine. Uh, you can just cut off the edges um, with your scissors. And this is a great um, step because you can make your edges uh, more straight, and uh, you won't have the scraggly ends. Okay, so next you're going to find the center of your fabric. It should be at the 4-inch mark. You're going to put a line of glue going from the top all the way to the bottom and you're going to fold one half of your long panel in just like this and you're going to press down really joining the glue to the fabric. Now you're going to do the exact same thing just put a line of glue from the top to the bottom and fold your uh, second half in really pressing down meeting that glue with the fabric and you'll see here that this is going to be the front and uh, this will be the back okay so the next part is the cinching uh, with my hot glue. Since this is a no-sew, I'm using the glue to cinch my fabric. I'm just putting a dab of glue at the very bottom in the center, and I'm folding about a quarter of an inch in. Now you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Put a dab of glue in the center and fold about a quarter of an inch in as well. And you're going to keep doing this uh, this time you're going to flip over and you're going to be, this is the front side, you're going to be putting a dab of glue in the center and just folding that piece in and you're going to do the exact same thing with the other side, put a dab of glue in the center and fold that piece in as well. Okay, so now 
you'll see here that I'm going to kind of make a crease in the center and these will be my last inches to make a bow and you'll see here that it's looking more like a bow. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to fold both uh, back pieces in, put a line of glue and fold them in at the same time and I'm just kind of pressing down and I'm uh, bending them forward and I'm going to put a last dab of glue in the very center here and pressing in. Okay, so we're going to put this aside. Uh, that little piece that we cut out in the beginning that's about three inches tall, one and a half inches wide, I'm just folding it over now to make a crease. It's going to be about half an inch, uh, your center uh, fabric piece. So I folded about half an inch. So here I'm just putting glue and I'm going to fold that little crease that I made in. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other side. I'm going to just kind of crease it and put a piece of a uh, line of glue, I'm sorry, and fold this in as well. And the edges aren't very even, so I just trimmed off the edges. Okay, so you're going to put a line of glue on the very back, a little bit um, in the center, like a little bit below the center. Okay, and you're basically just going to wrap this fabric piece um, around the center of your bow. Okay, so I measured with my thumb where to cut, so you just cut off the excess. And you finish gluing um, the fabric piece around. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the last thing we need to do is put a line of glue on the very back and attach your uh, alligator clip. You can use a French barrettes or you know a different clip of your choice. These work best in my hair, so I'm using this clip. For this tutorial. So now I'm going to show you in fast speed how to line your own alligator clip. A lot of people have been asking me. So you're basically just going to put a, um, a line of glue on your ribbon and open up your clip and attach it to one of the little metal prongs because you still want one um, hanging out uh, to clip to your hair. So I'm just basically you know putting glue on the clip and then placing my ribbon on it. And this last part, you just want a little bit um, showing. Make sure you heat seal the ribbon and place your last thing of glue there and press down. And that's how you make a lined alligator clip, y'all. Okay, so this is my fabric hair bow tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the instructions were easy. I haven't made a tutorial in about a year, so you know, uh, I'm kind of out of practice, I guess you could say. But uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please let me know what other tutorials you want me to do. And thanks again, guys, for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Please subscribe for more crafty tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.